Working with shapes in PowerPoint. Lofty goal. In this lesson, you will learn about the following slides: inserting smart art, creating word art, adding shapes. In the previous class, I used PowerPoint to make presentations. Please tell me more about it. Sure. Using the insert tab, you can do many interesting things. Let's recall what you have already learned about presentations. A presentation is a collection of slides relating to a specific topic used to present or show the contents of topic stepwise through text, pictures, sounds, and other effects. A presentation consists of a number of individual pages or slides. Slides. Slides contain the information you want to communicate with your audience. This information can include text, pictures, charts, videos, sounds, and more. Text and picture slide, chart slide, smart art slide, smart art. Smart art graphics are a type of illustration that allow you to visually communicate information that you might otherwise include in the presentation as text. You can create smart art in the normal view. To create and insert smart art, use the following steps. Step one: From the Insert tab in the Illustrations group, click Smart Art. To choose a Smart Art graphic dialog box appears. Step two: From the category list, select All, or from the category list, select a category of Smart Art. Step three: From the gallery, select a Smart Art graphic. Step four. Click OK. The graphic appears on the slide, and the Smart Art canvas also appears. Some more. The display pane at the right contains explanations for the currently selected Smart Art graphic. Once your Smart Art graphic is ready, you can change its layout and colors, which are available for each of the Smart Art. You can apply any layout of your choice. Changing the color of Smart Art graphics. Step one. Select the Smart Art graphic. Step two: Click on Change Colors and click on Color of your choice from the Layout Gallery. Changing the Smart Art Style. Step one: Select the Smart Art object. Step two: Choose a Smart Art Style from the Design tab. Step three: Click on the Style of your choice from Style Gallery. Hots. If the text pane is not available, how will you make it visible? Changing the Smart Art layout. Step one: Select the Smart Art object. Step two: Click on Change Layout. Step three: Click on the layout of your choice. The layout will be applied. Adding a shape to a graphic. Step one: Select the graphic. The Smart Art Tools Design and Format tab will appear on the ribbon. Step two: Select a shape in the graphic adjacent, above, or below. Where you want to add the new shape. Step three: Click the Add Shape command in the Create Graphic group. A new menu will appear. Step four: Select Add Shape before or Add Shape after. If some Smart Art graphics, you can add shapes above or below the selected shape. New added shape. Creating word art. Word art can be created to your Excel or PowerPoint document using a button on the Insert Command tab. Step one: In the Insert Command tab in the Text group, click Word Art. The Word Art Gallery dialog box appears. Step two: From the Word Art Gallery, select the desired style. A Word Art text box appears in your document with the placeholder text highlighted. Step three: Type the desired text. Changing the fill color of a word art style. Step one: Select the text you wish to modify. The Format tab will appear. Step two: Click the text fill in the word art styles group. Step three: Move your cursor over a color option to see a live preview on the slide, or click a color to select it. Changed color. No fill. This option will leave the word art text without a color. More fill colors. Opens a dialog box of color choices that you can use as a fill color. Picture opens the insert picture dialog box. From here, you can select a picture from your computer to use as the fill background. Gradient displays a sub menu of various gradient options that changes how the fill color appears. Textures 
displays a sub-menu of various textures that you can apply to the word art text. Some texture effects are shown below. Changing the text outline of a word art style. Select the text you wish to modify. The format tab will appear. Step 1. Select the format tab. Step 2. Click the text outline in the word art styles group. Step 3. Move your cursor over a color option to see a live preview on the slide. Step 4. Click a color to select one. Step 5. You can also choose to apply no outline color, access more colors, change the weight of the line or change the line style. I want to create my own design on blocks of text. What should I do? You may choose to create your own design by using the word art style. Applying a text effect to a word art style. Step 1. Select the text you wish to modify. The format tab will appear. Step 2. Click the text effects command. A drop down menu of options will appear. Step 3. Select an option. The options are shadow, reflection, glow, bevel, 3D rotation and transform. These will display a sub menu. Step 4. Click an option in the sub-menu to apply effects on word art. Some more. The green circles is the free rotate feature. Click and hold the mouse button and rotate the word art in a desired direction. Adding shape. You can add and edit ready-made shapes onto the slides. Step 1. In the insert tab in the illustrations group, click shapes. The shapes dialog box appears. Step 2. Select any shape. Step 3. Move your cursor toward the slide. It will appear as a cross shape. Step 4. Click and hold down the mouse button and drag the cursor until the shape is of the desired size. Changing a shape style. Step 1. Select the shape. The format tab will appear. Step 2. Click the more drop down arrow in the shape style group to display more style options. Step 3. Move your cursor over a style to see a live preview of the style on the slide. Step 4. Click a style to select one. Which one is correct? 